Hey there folks and welcome back for another video. I'm your host CDB or Chris and today I'm pretty excited about this shave because of this. 11 uh, Organic Sweet Orange. Woo! The scent is tailor-made for me. It is terrific. Um, scent strength, keeping in mind that I have still this respiratory thing going. About, uh, I'd say five to five and a half, medium. Let me roll in the ingredients for you real quick, right there. Oh, I tell you, when I smell this soap, it's just, it's just a wonderful sweet orange. It, it's, it says organic sweet orange, and that's what it smells like. It doesn't smell, to me, really like an orange candy. It's more of a natural orange. It tastes like, or excuse me, it, it sort of smells like an orange taste, if that makes any sense, or, or at least that's what it conjure, conjures up in my mind. I'm tongue twisted because I just love this scent. Let's get into the, uh, <clears throat> whatever you want to call it, the stats on the soap here. The, uh, it is $16.00. For four ounces, price per ounce, four dollars per ounce. Now let's go through the scale. If it if it's between two and three dollars an ounce, we give it two thumbs up. If it's between three and four dollars an ounce, we give it one thumbs up. And if it is four to five dollars an ounce, we start to wince. And if it's over five, eh, we cry. This one is right on that line of wincing. So I'm gonna kind of because the scent is so good and it's right at four dollars. I'm gonna kind of. On the price, give it a sort of halfway thumbs up and a little bit of a wince because it, it, it just smells great. I don't know how it's going to perform. We shall see. But man, does it smell great. For the razor, we're going to use the uh, Lutz. The Lutz razor. This is a, uh, a vintage razor. I think it was originally made back in the 30s, repackaged in the 50s. And as you can see, quite a bit of over, overhang on the sides. It is a slant razor and both sides are not the same. One is a little more efficient than the other. So we'll try to keep it even on use using the Ariana and Evans synthetic, which I love. This is a terrific brush. If you love synthetics, you may very well load this brush. So I have some of the soap in here. I believe this soap is made by uh, the Sapona de Paula people, if I'm not mistaken. And we're just uh, loading up here from the Captain's Choice bowl, by the way. This is that, uh, I believe it's copper. Terrific bowl, terrific bowl. And Captain's Choice, Scott, is one of the finest people in the wet shaving industry. I've talked to him personally. Um, he's just a really nice guy. And so I like to support, you know, Captain's Choice. This is handmade and hand hammered. If you go to the Captain's Choice website, you can actually see how it's made. It's very cool. But man, you can, you can smell that soap. The fragrance, come out. even with this doggone cold, <clears throat> it just smells fantastic. Sorry for clearing my throat, <clears> throat> or if I cough, I, it can't be avoided. But boy, when I got the soap and took a whiff, I was like, woo, you know, really, really excited. And so I wanted to uh, bring it in here and use it. And by the way, talking about the community a little bit, or I want to, I should say, um, Let's talk a little bit about some of the other channels. For one, I want to start featuring channels. You know the on YouTube when you go to a, someone's channel and then there's featured channels. Right now I don't have any. I did have it on the old Eyelighter channel. So what I'm gonna start doing is featuring the channels that I'm talking about. And don't worry, if I haven't gotten to you, I'm sure I will at some point. I'm just, I'm gonna start by featuring the channels that I have mentioned. And it's not just big channels. Small channels, channels that no one knows about or channels I stumbled over. I'm gonna put them in the feature list so so everybody can find them. And uh, you know, you can learn a lot from watching these other channels. I've learned a lot, <clears throat> even recently, from watching these other uh, channels, new and old. And today I wanna to mention uh, two channels and I'm getting ready to wet my face. Boy, that smells terrific. It really smells outstanding. Um, I wanna mention two channels today. One is Jeffrey Smith. Now. Jeffrey Smith's channel is not new. He's been around for quite some time. And his channel, if I were to describe it, do you guys remember Paul Bombino? Great, great YouTuber. Um, I don't think he's made a video for a long time, maybe a year or so. Um, he used to go by the name of AZ Hawk 516 Terrific, terrific guy. I think he's a doctor, if I'm not mistaken in real life. Anyway, he used to make uh, shaving videos 
And he's a terrific hobbyist and was very, very helpful to a lot of people. Anyway, Jeffrey's channel reminds me of a cross between um, <clears throat> Paul Bombino and uh, Bob Ross. <laughs> so, and that is meant to be the highest compliment because when you go to Jeffrey's channel, it's very calm. It's very disarming. And he's talking about, this is a nice shaver. That, kind of like the Bob Ross happy little trees over here. And so Jeffrey, or Jeff, his channel reminds me of a cross between those two. And that is a compliment. Because it's not shot out of a canning, you know, uh, aggressive anything. It's it's slow. It's deliberate. It is, you know, I really like the shaver. It's very, very nice. Very, very nice voice. Almost uh, not quite an ASMR vibe, but, you know, it's quite relaxing. And so I like watching uh, Jeffrey's channel. And I remember watching his channel from before. Now... Up until recently, keep in mind, I hadn't watched uh, videos or really participated in the community for some time. So I have really been catching up and uh, have learned a lot from people and, and have uh, discovered a lot of new people who weren't doing it last I was watching. And so that's terrific. And rediscovered some old folks, you know, not old in age, but, <clears throat> you know, that had older channels and so on. And so... Uh, it's been, it's been really fun. It's been really fun. And so having a great time. And I hope you are too. If you're enjoying the content, please uh, subscribe and like. I really appreciate it. Uh, the other gent I want to mention, and I'll mention him in just a minute after we get started because I'm going to lather all day otherwise. Remember, folks, I'm going to keep saying this until it sinks in. Make the kind of lather that works for you. It's your shave. Do it your way. Do not be intimidated by the commenters into thinking you need a thick Santa Claus beard-like lather as Con said the other day, and as I have said in the past. If you make a lather that looks thin, but it shaves well, keep making it. If you make a lather that's thick and it works very well, keep making it. Do it your way, all right? So that's, that's our <laughs> message for the day there. Um, anyway, did our, I nicked a bump right there. I have a bump on my neck, because that is no fault of the soap or razor. It's always my fault, folks. And there is a bump right there. There's two, one right there and one right there. So I'll probably nick both before it's over with. But anyway, the other gent that I want to mention is Nomeo. Nomeo Shaves. And I also remember him from uh, a while back when I was watching content. I think right before I quit, I was watching some of his videos. Really nice guy. Uh... Brings a lot to the table. Today he did the uh, second chance challenge and he used an old uh, uh, OC Micromatic that he hated the first time around and he enjoyed it. And that was the purpose of that challenge, folks. Because I felt like a lot of people, or I thought I should say, I thought a lot of people might have a different opinion of gear they didn't like if they tried it a second time with some time removed. So if you haven't been challenged on that challenge, you know, try it out and see. Pick out something that's been a year since you tried it. You happen to still have it. Maybe you just didn't love it the first time around. Try it and see what happens. You might find that your technique has improved or maybe your face is tougher if you're a new wet shaver. Keep in mind, folks, your face will adjust. If you're new and you're watching this channel and you just started today, in four months from now, you'll, your face will not be the same as it is today in terms of what it can take. Um, likely it will have adjusted to this style of shaving and that counts. It matters. So, you know, give things time. That is really the key. I think take your time. Don't rush. Revisit products. If you don't like them the first time around, boy, the scent is terrific. I had no problems whatsoever on that first path, despite the fact that I cut that bump. That's my fault. No fault to the soap or razor or anything else. Today, mostly I have a bowl lather going. I meant to just load, but it's actually kind of hard to load from a bowl without <laughs> sort of making the bowl lather, to tell you the truth. So, we've got kind of a bowl lather here. I think a lot of times, if I hate to load from the, from the container. If I do, it'll be with a damp brush, but I think a lot of times if you load from the container and face lather, I, I think I actually get a better quality lather, but I don't like introducing 
contaminants to my soap. That is just me, but I probably should do it with new soaps, you know, just to see how they perform um, when using a damp brush and loading from the container. I think that gives the soap its best chance to work. Scooping it out for whatever reason doesn't always have the same, or at least for me, it doesn't work exactly the same as, uh, as lathering it, you know, giving it a really heavy load from the container and, and uh, face lathering. Or at least that's my perspective, you know, for whatever it's worth. <clears throat> and I saw some comments on some videos. I can't remember whose video it was on, but one guy was essentially going, what is this obsession with you guys? You know, lathering endlessly. It's fun. That's all it is. It's fun. <laughs> this is relaxing, and that's all there is to it. It's not that we have to continually do this. It's fun to do it. It feels good. That's why we do it. There's no other reason. Now, granted, some lathers you need to whip into submission, so you keep doing it until you get it the way you want it. But a lot of times we're talking, and it's just fun. It's therapeutic. I think I heard Chris from Another Cut Above say that the other day. It's therapeutic lathering. Like, uh, you know, it just feels good. And so that's why we do it. It's not always for a purpose and it's not always necessary. It's just fun. And so if people have fun, you know, let them do it their way. I, uh, <clears throat> I must tell you, um, I had a question that popped up. Uh, I know Reed from Shave Cave, who I've been mentioning a lot, is a sailor. And it occurred to me that when we talk about spending too much, we always talk about sailors. And when we talk about cursing too much, we always talk about sailors. So Reed, if you watch this video, what is it about sailors? Like you never hear anybody say they're cussing like a Marine or they're cussing like an Army, army Ranger or they're cussing like an Airman, you know, <laughs> or they're cussing like a Coast Guard guy. It's always a sailor. Why are sailors that much more inclined to use profanity or spend a lot of money than, than everybody else in armed services? I doubt it. But why is it that the sailor gets the bad rap? If you've been in the Navy, comment below, because I'm interested to hear your thoughts, because it just occurred to me, I was thinking about Reed, and uh, I think his name is Reed. At least that's what I heard someone call him, Reed. Anyway, Reed, if you're watching, and other Navy uh, veterans, comment below. I'm an Air Force veteran myself. And for those of you who are uh, veterans or families of veterans, thank you for your service. We all we often forget the families and what they go through when troops are deployed. And they sacrifice a lot, the children, the wives, and so on. And so, you know, <clears throat> wives, husbands, I should say, because uh, ladies get deployed as well, obviously. We forget about that a lot of times. The families really make a lot of sacrifice and not very many people give the families credit. But I remember what, you know, the effect it had on my family when I was deployed and so on. And so, you know, I try to be mindful of that when I'm thinking about uh, other veterans and their families when they're <clears throat> deployed. It's really a tough thing. So those of you who are deployed, whether you're in the United States military or militaries abroad, you know, if you're deployed and away from your family, uh, maximum respect to you. Big respect. I appreciate what you folks do. Thank you very much. <clears throat> All right. This soap smells terrific. And it's not a bad performer either. Performing quite nicely. Now, I will say, folks, there's no way that I'm going to like every product. Because I'm trying new artisans. You know, I'm trying to go through and try new artisans before buying seconds from the same artisan. So, of course, you're going to see more PAA and Barrister and Man. But I want to go through and try the artisans that I haven't tried since, you know, since the last time I was trying new stuff. And so, you're going to be seeing a little bit of everything on the channel. And there's no way I can like everything. So, I hope folks will not take that personal. Like, when I don't like it, I'm going to say it. Do not confuse having fun and positivity with having to like every product. That... That is not a thing, all right? Now, will I try to give a product the best chance to succeed? Yes. Will I be charitable? Uh, 
in terms of if something can be taken badly or, or given a little bit of charity and go the other way, yes, I'm going to err on the side of being more charitable because I think that's just the right thing to do. But if something is just bad, it's bad, and I'm going to have to say it. So I know a lot of you appreciate the more upbeat and fun. Believe me, no one appreciates it more than me because I'm having fun. <laughs> but uh, I can't love everything. So just keep that in mind. There, there are going to be some stinkers. You know, that's just the way it is. And so I hope uh, no one takes that personally because I do appreciate the effort of all the artisans. You know, I don't always agree with their perspective and they doggone sure don't agree with mine. So, you know, that's just the way it goes sometimes. Not everybody's going to agree, nor should they have to agree. So with that disclaimer out there, you'll be seeing a lot of different stuff and it mostly made possible by the viewers. So thank you very much, all of you. It means a lot, if you, and if you have not subscribed, please do so. I really appreciate it. All right, last pass. This has been quite lovely. Um, I would say the quality of this soap is quite good. I don't know, based on this one shave, I don't know if it's in the realm of your Barrister and Man, um, you know, their latest, I can't think of the name of it. Is it Excelsior? formula like it, th that realm of quality is you know upper echelon i don't know if this one reaches that tier but i will say this there's plenty of residual slickness there's plenty of general slickness the scent is fantastic um and i've had no problems with it but i cannot tell at this point uh it just seems like a really good uh serviceable type soap and i don't mean serviceable in a negative way I mean, it's just good, you know. I'll have to use it more before I can determine whether it hits that next level. And also, I, I must mention the LUTs, which I haven't talked about at all. It has a tendency, it can be rough for people. Primer Sharp is the blade, by the way. I don't think I even mentioned the blade today. I was so wrapped up in this terrific scent that <laughs> I don't think I even uh, mentioned the blade. Now, what I will say is this. At $4 an ounce, do I think this is many, many times better than sterling? No, I do not. Absolutely do not. Uh, that's my opinion. Do I think it's many, many times better than the Central Texas soap that I tried uh, last week or so? No, I do not. Based on one use, take it with a grain of salt. But it has been very enjoyable. It has done exactly what I want it to do. I like the container. I like that you can identify it on the side by the dot. And I love the scent. It's a banging scent if you like an orange. I might be too old to say banging scent. <laughs> I'm too old for that. Anyway, uh, it's been enjoyable. Let's put it that way. All right. Let me uh, rinse and we'll come back and give you a post. Stay tuned. And we are back. I can turn that around with the magic made by witches. And that was a nice shave. Very pleasant. I love the scent. The scent is terrific. On this soap, if you like citrus, orange, so on and so forth, really, really nice. Um, the quality is good. I don't know if it's elite in rinsing that off my face. I don't think I had as much of a residual slickness as in some of the soaps that I've been using recently, but it's still quite good. I don't think it's going to give you any problems in your shave at all, and it's got a terrific scent, and so I, I like it. Let's talk about it a little bit. Uh, let's start with the razor. The Lutz uh, Vintage Razor. For me, the 37C, the Merker 37C, is a better shaver. This one is okay. I own it because it was sent to me um, by the inspector. Picture there, <laughs> as always. Uh, years ago, it's, uh, it's a vintage razor, so I hold on to it for that reason. For me, it's not really a terrific shaver. It's a good shaver, but I think the 37C is a smoother slant, just my opinion. The Ariana and Evans... Synthetic is terrific. Big thumbs on that. I love it. Our Captain's Choice uh, bowl, absolutely terrific. I love it. The 11 Soap, again, scent. Phenomenal scent. Good quality. No problem with it. Um, would I buy another one uh, of this brand? Yes, I would. I, I would try the, I think they have a, a lemon, like a Sicilian lemon or something like that. I will definitely try that one in the future. And we're going to close it out today with the 
Fine Le Orange, which I like a lot. As you know, Fine makes very nice aftershaves. I think some of the older ones last longer, to be honest with you. I've been noticing that recently in some of the aftershaves. And I know some people don't care at all about that, but if you do, if you have older ones, use them sparingly because they give you a little more punch, in my opinion. At least some, some of the fine ones, not all. Just my opinion. I want to thank everybody so much uh, for joining me again. If you have not subscribed, I ask you to please do so below. Comment. Uh, tell me what you thought. Tell me what you like, did not like, and so forth. And until next time, I want to remind you, it's your shave. Do it your way, and God bless.